company, it's me, the gaming truck driver, with another episode of Spirit Fair. When last we left, I was confused and had no idea what to do. That's nothing new. So we found Giovanni and we got him set up. So I'm gonna go check out Masha and see. Oh, wait, we have a letter. Oh, feed around. Here's your package, burnt food. <laughs> yeah, Peter has gone downhill. Five thousand dollars for burnt food. Yeah, so we're gonna go. Excuse me. I tried to stifle that yawn, it didn't work. Can't talk to her. I can't talk to Giovanni, but I can feed him. Good thing is shock full of carbs. I can't do a carb, so me. Call me vain all you want, but I gotta take care of this body. How can my hair sparkle and my guts resist gravity otherwise, eh? I can't eat stuff like this. Go straight to my boss. And we wouldn't want, we don't want that, do we? Okay, so he won't eat. Anything like that. Ah, thank you, Bambina. I was hungry like a lion. Thank you for this food. Haha, -ha, hungry like a lion. That was a good one. I'm hilarious. Okay, so he'll eat. The lion doesn't have carbs in it. He'll eat it. Yet his whole animated thing is eating a thing of spaghetti. So, yeah. That's it. Okay, so you have nothing to say to her now. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, there's a new island here. I missed that, apparently. Let's go to the new island and see what pops up. Oh, we have a new peanut. I was thinking, and you know what? Just a chocolate box is nearly not enough for, the, for a lady of this caliber, but I know exactly what could complement this gift. A nice bouquet of flowers, vibrant luscious roses, and I know where just to pick some. Ambertown Park. Don't worry, I'll show you where, I'll show you once we're there. It's, that's a great idea, eh? It's definitely a great idea. And again, not a word. She'll be completely surprised. All right. Well, that's on the map. That's not where we're going, though. Yeah, I kind of guess. I need one more. I need one more oval. Let's go explore this island. It's locked. Oh, madam, you've got that face. Lady Salzburg, Salzburg knows faces, and yours can be on a poster. On a billboard? You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. 
But we can fix that in post. We'll get one of those girl... We'll, we'll get one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress? You don't do a vaudeville? You've never been with Zig... Uh, Zigfeld? Nothing for those... Nothing for those French shepherd dressers or whatever it's called. That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But... If that's true, you're pure, undiscovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It will be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star. It will be a box office smash. Can you see it? Can't you see it? Yes. I knew you could... I knew I could count on just... I knew I could count on just walking the streets. You'll be a stir in no time, or my name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now we need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new bo beau. Some somewhere warm, it doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I just thought about in the last five minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that mother-daughter picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We need to find someone with gumption gravitas. There's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently she's been ta taking in nature recently. Somewhere, somewhere on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait a second. I just had another idea. We could go also go the demure and naive or someone like Ingrid. She could also do justice in our new movie. She just bought a new place in Old Central District. You could go meet her there. Ah, so many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. All right, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. Really? Well then, somehow I don't think I'm gonna like that. Oh, everything is locked. Everything is locked. Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. And it's not just the screaming. It's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should just close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. I came here with the early bird. I came. It came with the early bird swimmer. Holy crap. Can't break into anybody's house. Can't break into your house. Maybe if I come back in the daytime. Wow, she's windy here in Darien. Alright, uh, it's too dark to navigate. Let's just go to sleep and see if everything's still locked in the morning. Let us go! I'm purple daffodil. Nah, I'm gonna say everybody's still asleep. Or, it's still locked. What do we have here? Oh, Susan's Museum. Okay, cool. Um, frozen zinc. Ambertail Park. South Point Docks, okay. So this is how I'm gonna get the next spear with the oval. Let's go to Susan's Museum.
<laughs> He's asleep outside. Come, purple daffodil. Some bisque. The service on the ship was incredible. That way to make this crustacean and a veggie. All right, let's go to Susan's Museum. Yeah, I think this is going to be my only episode tonight. I got to work on a farm simulator video because I haven't uploaded one of those in a while. I also have the, just down, finished downloading the new world oh, cool. update or um, whatever you want to call it for. Um, I can't even get up there. Oh, there we go. Uh, the new world update for. Um, Oh, Microsoft Light Simulator. Anyway, let's see what Susan wants. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Just fantastic. The Spear Affair is here mm -hmm. on this godforsaken rock in the middle of the ocean. She came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all that and said, yes, how inviting. Surely I'm welcome here. Well, you fail me. No use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. Ahem. Spirit Pharaoh, whose name I don't know nor care to know, I'm the collector otherwise known as Susan. The gods and all their materialistic arrogance have played such a cruel trick on me. You see, I'm the collector not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of the world's finite wonders, very finite wonders, you have no doubt come to stockpile a collection of drunk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable effort behavior with, well, more junk. <laughs> what irony is it not? My predecessor used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do who knows what with. But the job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your filth. So when the time comes, show me your, what, mons what monstrosity, monstrosity, uh, monstrous assortment you've managed to pull together. Grab your meaningless reward and leave quickly. And pick up after yourself. Alright then. Frank. Yeah, I need ceramic figures. How exciting. You started collecting a new type of junk, but this time it's fish. They smell bad and they're all terribly ugly, yet you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They're slippery little bastards. Broken shiny rocks, what a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep your spirit fair. You have two jobs now. Finding gems and spirits. By the way, who even came up with such a ridiculously sounding name as Spirit Bear? It sounds terrible and doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Susan. Susan. Susan the Collector. <laughs> I don't know where to get the rest of the figurines. Oh, well. Halfway there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You are amused by such material things. It figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Go. What do you want? Get on with it already. How wonderful. You've pillaged almost all of the precious gems around. How lucky this world is. Oh, great destroyer. Show us your ways. Oh, great. Well, you're clearly not even listening. Take this and leave. Uh, 
<laughs> what do we have here? Is that food? Is that a dish? Are you trying to cook something on that boat of yours? Are you a chef? Do you even have any cookbooks? The Everlight does everything for me. That's your answer for everything. You're a special kind of people, you spirit bears. Just because of that Everlight, you think you are so great. You don't know what it is what it is to actually work. Why am I even talk, taking my precious time to talk to you? Here it is, remember, practice makes perfect. Not that you would ever know that. Oh, I got an Easter outfit. Okay, I need more of those figurines. Eh, yeah, sorry, Daffodil. Oh, the meal finished up. Eat, treat, or crap. Oh, you only need one figurine? What is that one? <laughs> see what you've got now. It looks like some kind of... Why? Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It's not only offensive to my eyes, but it hurts the very essence of my soul. But wait, I recognize this. Oh, oh no. I should have known from the very beginning. Is that man? That It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? The shallow, shallow materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. He sent you here, didn't he? What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little woodprint, isn't he? Well, now he's never going to see it again, I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about asceticism. I think that's how you say that. And as far as this preposterously silly collection, your reward is, let's see. No, this can't be. No, the fates can't be so cruel. Well, all right, just take it. Take the bloody woodprint. Go back to that blabbering fool. Just, just... Take anything you want and get out of my sight. Yay, my friend. Alright, now we gotta go back to here. Street. Village Majore. Toriyama. Sucky Quarry, Green Fields. I think I'd be able to know where this is, like right off the top of my head. So, uh, 
Altar, Homestead Cave, Hummingbird. Okay, like where am I missing this at? There we go. Alright, let's do some fishing. Oh, there goes my moose. <laughs> An empty bottle, just what I always wanted. What were you saying about trash? Hey, lobster. Large Limba, we'll take that and not even bother getting what's in the crate. Man, oh man, the wind. Glad I didn't decide to go over to George Washington and tap and see. the red comet. I caught the red comet. Nobody's going to get that reference. Another lobster. Come on, whatever you are. A soul. Well, all right then. Let's go visit this snooty creature and give him the print as my desk falls over. If I tilt it this way, I don't know. Probably gonna change how my mic works. But... again are you would you look at that you've got the piece oh Stella this is very good you managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of that hag what ingenuity what spunk yes you'll prove to be an immense asset to all of my endeavors or shall I say our endeavors well it's decided then there's no pursuit left for me on this island therefore I'll join you I'll join your little expedition as a passenger mind you not as a crew member Yes, yes, such a boat might just be the perfect gallery. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Yay.
Everybody's here. A hug. All right, all right. Now I can do it. Sure. It might tingle a bit, but well, what if it hurts? Ah, uh, you're here. You're here. Good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Oh, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have, anyways? He's a bird of some kind. Pelican, maybe? Uh, I don't know what he is. Ha! Huh. I did it, and I didn't even faint. It actually feels alright. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. What? Oh, but of course, pardon my enthusiasm. I forgot to introduce myself. How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav. And I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad that our paths have crossed on this island. And I know that together, we will accomplish great things. This world is is part wonderful and part disgusting, and so is ours. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a, gra with a grand inspiration. And it's, it's our solemn duty to elevate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life. And you will help me. Oh, how grandiose it will be. Ah, but first payment. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Mm, give me an oval. Can you get a hug? Uh -huh. I don't mind a caring moment now and then. He's some kind of bird, but what is he? Might be a sparrow, but it's weird that he has a red head. He's not a robin, though. Maybe a cardinal? I don't know. I'm sure I could look it up. Can't be really bothered. Alright, let's go to sleep and then go to the shrine and get the ability to... I think it's zipline, I think is what we can do. Now, where do we start? Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now, bear with me. Is this boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility, such as a sawmill? I would have. It will have numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient. A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvas. Is there one on board? Fantastic. A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is a fully functional foundry. You've got quite a well furnished ship stuff. And finally, the corner store. Uh, corner store, corner stone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You've built a mailbox already? Fantastic. Well, it, se it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. What's left? You have everything. Friggin' weirdo. Great. Everybody's up. Let's go back to the shrine. Here it is. Let's go back to the shrine. Once known as humanity, this is exactly that. The taste so unique, so special. 
I don't even get why some people would call this an acquired taste. Neophytes assured me. This is a wonderful skipper, thank you. Okay, so he likes acquired taste stuff. So, what can I do? Yes, well, we gotta go to that place, so let's fish while we wait. Fishy, fishy, fishy. traveling here. I'm just gonna mute my microphone for a second and fix this desk before I knock it over. There, that should be better. So I've got this cool little, it's by a company called Design. It's this nifty little desk and it's got legs on it. So I can take it with me on the road and it'll, you can use it in bed and it will um, not rest on your legs with your laptop, which is great for somebody like me who has a bad leg. So it's awesome in that regard, but it's, it's not super stable, so if you have it, like, I, if I don't have it resting right on the bedding of my bed, it will, um, will fall over on you. It's a very expensive laptop that I, you know, don't want to break. So, and then I also use that time to uh, get changed. So you got to see some, uh, some cool moves from Stella and... Okay, you don't sell anything I want, do you? <laughs> Yeah. 
and he won't buy garbage. All right, let's go and see what power I guess I'm putting the thing in the shrine. Acquire, and I'm hoping it zip lines. Affidil, what are you doing? with that cast. Okay, so we can't... Oh, you can go up them too. Oh, that's good to know. Still can't get that. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. So, anyway, not gonna complain. Okay, where else can I use the zip line at? No, I can use it at the mines. Oh. Hey, Francis. I have. Let's see. We can't turn that in, we can 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 turn that in, and that in. Cool. A letter from Albert. What does Albert want? Dear value customer, for a special time we're running a special promotion and close this a special blueprint for all. All part of our fun taculars series, zip line post. Zip through the air like a like a majestic bird. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna build that right away. I do, however, want to go to the mines. That's a long. Let's go here. Is there a zip line here? Plays the violin. See what he is. Spirit. Stuff. Falcon. I never would have picked him for using Falcon. for the real work. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh -huh. Now that our prep preparatory work is fully complete, I think it's time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space for 
protect it from the, uh, to protect the most fragile pieces from the elements. Also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably, as well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop, though we might manage without one. What, a bit much? On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all these things are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize that space might be an issue. That's why I've thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical space, for it both houses works of arts and is one. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. Such as an example of... And that's one of the many ways Bach is school in Chicago is integrated as Russian architecture in its ideas. All right, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Do you need me to repeat? No, no, I don't. No. Well, if you insist, I'll let you get to it then. Can I even build this dude's gallery? No, I need marble, oak, and glass. I don't have enough glass. Really, dude? I lost my whole day listening to you talk about Bach as a school of art. Oh, I can think of much more, but I can think of much better ways for me to spend my time than listening to some falcon talk about art. So we have a zip line, and prove chicken coop. I can't build the chicken coop now, though. Oh. It's a waste of time. All right, let's go to the mines. The mines of Moria meet the Balrog. And let's see, Pier. First the mines. Hard welder already got. I'm missing a rare chest there. Because I don't have a key. Wow, the wind. Time for all you buggers to get out of bed. Good stuff's up early. Oh, I'm sure you can find something nutritious for me. Uh, you're hungry? Will you eat? Exotic. Ha! Ah, Stella! Failed my weak spot again, did you? This complex and exhilarating blend of flavors. Yes, exotic delicacies are just my taste. Oh, yes, quite good. Quite good indeed. Sweet. Will you eat the weird cabbage dish that I made? Probably not. I don't know if anybody will eat that. Terrible. Glass. It's a seagull. Bye, seagull. You're hungry. Uh, what will you eat? Chicken. The service on the ship is incredible. Eat the chicken. Eat it. Thank you. 
Della, funny story, I just heard a terrible sound. Then I told myself, oh no, the engine's going to explode. But no, the gigantic, tremendous roaring was my stomach. Come on now, you know what I'm starting. Okay, let's feed you. He treat a cat. Another glorious fine dining affair. You know, Bambina, it reminds me of, wait, where was, where was that? This tat Trattoria again? Well, never mind. Yours is better than theirs. I'm gonna actually plant some rice if I can. Do I have any rice? Oh, seeds. Rice seeds. Just because I think that's going to be the easiest way to get flour. Let's water you all. Grab the mine so this will be perfect. Water you guys and then get into the mines and see if I can get any kind of new material. And then what I can do is I can chuck it in, I can travel to both of the sisters and drop it on their shelves and get um, duplicated basically. Well done! You're ready and well equipped for the job. You did well, recruit. I'm happy to welcome you to the team. Here you go. Have fun in there, maybe. That sounds off. <laughs> You're going into an abandoned mine after all. Be careful. And also, always respect the job. Alrighty. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Can't go this way. Oh, I can't go that way. I might need to find a map for this place. Hematite metal rope. My little legs are not strong enough. I'm fine. We. Syrup and amethyst. The equivalent of Canadian currency. No! Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, you.
Or Mirable. No. Nope, still. Ah. Uh, damn it. You don't have a zip line, I have a zip line. Slice? More coal. I can make coal pretty easy, though. Um... Okay, there's nothing here. No, oh, guess not. More marble? Until somebody's yelling at the computer screen right now. No, you idiot! You missed this! Okay, I think I have everything in here. Hmm, we're gonna check when we go back to the map screen. Nope, I think I did. Bye. Okay. There's that. Okay, no, I am missing stuff here. Let me see if I can find a map.
Double jump glide on a zip line. Okay, so you can get everything here with what I have. That's the entrance. Okay. Let's bring up this back. Let's take a quick pop back over here. Just more so because I'm a completionist than in here. Okay, we're gonna drop all the way down. My phone screen decides it wants to turn it off. That's everything. I think I got everything now. Okay, let's get out of here. We... I did it again. I do this every time. That should be everything this time. It's two. Yeah, let's have a quick sleepy time and then check. Okay, I think if we go to Bottom Line Inc., there's places there we can use as appliance too. It might be worth taking a quick. Check down there, that's not what I wanted to do. Come here. 
Oh, one chest I'm missing in there, but we'll, or one secret I'm missing in there, so we'll check that for another day, but I think I know where it's at. Oh, I need dash. I don't have the dash, so I can't get that yet. So yeah, so that's going to do it for me. I don't know what that is, but it's scary. I don't know if I want to go touch it. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it for me. So, uh, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. It sure does help me out if you want to see more. Don't forget to click on the little bell, or the little subscribe button on the bottom of, uh, where am I going with this? Oh, it's been a long day. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification if uh, you want to be notified every time I upload another video. As always, be good to each other out there, and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.